Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are checking out the Captain Deadbeard class on the zombie side, of course. He was in Guard of War 2, he's one of my favorites, and he has three abilities. First off, the Barrel Blast, hide in a short fused powder keg, light fuse with R2. So, as you can see, you can hop in this barrel. You're very difficult to defeat when you're in the barrel, and you can activate it at any point to run a little bit faster and explode, just like that. It also gives you sort of a little bit of height in launching you, which they've actually sort of incorporated into a bit more of a strategy, which is interesting in this game, it seems. Um, we also have Parapel, which we'll check out in a second, and Anchors Away. Choose a destination, then press R2 to launch yourself. Oh, this is interesting, this is totally new. Oh, wow, so that really is what launches you in this game, okay. Whoa, I haven't even seen that before, that is crazy cool, this lobby is super laggy, thanks game. <laughs> <laughs> Try to showcase this character. We also have the Parapel um, Control Flying Paratrone, and if it'll let me, I, I would love to showcase it. There it goes. So with the Parapel, looking very similar to how it did in God of War 2, it has L1 and R1 to fly down and up, and then Triangle for the Egg Explosion to launch a two-stage explosive to carpet bomb an area. So this actually seems uh, sort of, kind of similar to how it used to be. It used to have, you know, stuff raining down from the sky. You would choose an area. This honestly seems a little bit more direct, but similar enough that it's pretty good. And also, we can read about the uh, the parapel here. Parrot drones can deal moderate damage, but they have very little health. To survive, keep moving and stay a safe dif distance from opponents. We also have the primary weapon, which is parrot pulse. Parrot drones can deal moderate damage, but they have very little. Oh, it just says the same thing again. But as you can see, it's it's moderate damage for sure, low fire rate, or at least like decent fire rate. But the more you shoot, the higher it's about to overcharge. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hop out of from being the parrot now. And we are going to uh, just lastly read a little bit about the role for Captain Deadbeard. He's also defense. Captain Deadbeards are long range specialists, use abilities to get to high ground or to take to the air with the parrot drone to attack from above. The primary weapon is the scurvy scatter shot, close range scrap blast weapon, and the secondary is the spyglass shot. Hold L2 for long range mode, charge shots deal additional damage. So just like with the cactus, if we zoom in, you can see the longer we wait, the more damage we do. So we sort of want to pace ourselves and make that damage last. But unlike the, the cactus, uh, which had like a, a very quick fire rate when you're not zoomed, Captain Deadbeard instead has a close range scatter shot that should do lots of damage to up close enemies. So lots of differences there, but also lots of similarities to the cactus. I'm good to go. Hopefully you guys are too. Let's go, let's go ahead and get started with some more turf takeover. So some pretty simple upgrades I'm gonna start with. We have rough patch. We have speedy and leveling up. A lot of people will ask me why I use leveling up even though it doesn't have a strategic advantage. I'm not really worried too much about that for right now. I do want to sort of experience a character as close to base as possible, just the base character. I also want to be able to get them to level 10 without it taking too long in the episode. And then lastly, I'm not really too worried about showing them at their peak because I'll be re-showcasing the characters whenever they get mastered. So stay tuned for that, I guess, if that's something you're interested in. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I'm sure there's gonna be, ah. Uh, Plants all over the place, trying to beat me up. He's trying to beat me in the in the long range game right now, and he he's doing it. Ow! Okay, run away, run away. That pea shooter was like one hit away from getting taken out. The unfortunate thing is he's probably already. Ow! Oh, I thought that was me getting taken out. <laughs> Captain Denver sort of fell over a little bit. He's probably mostly healed at this point. Is he right over here, or is he? Oh, that's yeah, somebody over that way. I would like to move over this way. Maybe I could focus on this healing flower first. I think it's healing itself. Okay, wait, oh, that was awkward. I don't know, my camera got a little stuck there. But I'm just gonna try to take it slow and be careful and, is there a plane over here? I, I saw that tire, it looked like the head of a Gatling P. That was weird. Well, I see you up there. Oh, did I get you? Not quite. I do, I feel like the, is the reticle different between Captain Deadbeard and Cactus? Because I sort of, if it is, I like this one more. If not, I don't know how, what, what I, why I don't remember. Uh, what it was like before. Is he still on that roof? Sure hope not. I'm trying to be careful here. And you know, pick out some plants. Oh, almost gotcha too, that would've been great. Okay, come on, peek out. One thing you do have to keep in mind, a big difference between Garden War 2 and Battle for Neighborville, as far as I know, is that if you look at a Captain Deadbeard who's scoping in on you, you can see a little glare on his weapon. 
the spyglass part of the weapon. And that will point you out to enemy cacti that are trying to hunt you down too. and makes you a much bigger target. So you do have to be careful. I think it'll be a lot like last episode with the cactus showcase where I'm gonna be a little rusty at first trying to figure things out, but then hopefully the upcoming rounds I'll do a little bit better. But so far, I do like the changes to Captain Deadbeard. I mean, I, I always liked the, the, the cannon attack, but you know what, I don't know if it's exactly necessary. I know it's probably not the smartest idea to even go into this map playing Captain Deadbeard because of the fact that it's an offensive map and it's already hard enough for zombies to win on this one, but I'm just sort of doing what I can. Is that gonna miss? That's gonna miss, okay. Um, oh, got him a little bit there. He's gonna try to run. Ah, he got away. All right, I'm gonna have to work on this torch wood instead. That's fine. Nice. Come on, one more shot. There it is. Oh, there was an there was an acorn on top of him too. That was cool. That didn't get him. Okay. There's a cactus right over here shooting at me. I saw that. Where are you? I don't know. They're hiding now. They know I'm gonna try to catch up to them. I would like to get onto this roof. Oh, did I do that wrong or no? But I still didn't get up. <laughs> Definitely have to get used to that a little bit. I do think it limits you know, the long range capability of the Captain Deadbeard to not be able to um, have, I mean, I say that, he's a sniper glass, but having that explosive damage could be really useful for those times that you're sort of in a pinch for long range attacks, but also it's like you need that area of effect, right? Instead of a pinpoint accuracy, that's where the, the cannon can be good. But you know what, I don't think it's actually necessary for him to have it. I think this is a pretty good balance thing. Uh, focusing on the positioning of Captain Deadbeard might just be for the best. That way, you know, you can really make the most out of the sniping opportunities. So it looks like so far the zombies are actually doing a great job of capturing this. I'm trying to just be available for my team whenever uh, we need it. I might be able to sneak in a little bit more though. Oh, okay, you're just over here. Oh wow, that's interesting. Instead of doing like one set damage for the scatter shot, it actually does a bunch of tiny damage. That's weird. All right, will you be out healed compared to how much? Oh man, <laughs> my aim is awful, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm not doing so great when it comes to that, but we'll just keep moving. Uh, am I going the right way? I guess not, I'm supposed to be going that way. I don't know why, but I always think that the point is gonna continue off there, but it doesn't. Okay, so right now we gotta keep moving this way. Whoop, nice, <laughs> good jump there. So yeah, we have five and a half minutes to get to this next point. Hopefully we can continue to help our team. We'll sort of have to find out the positioning of everything. This could be a tough point from what I remember. Honestly, every point in this map is tough. Let's spawn in a zombie maybe. But finding a position with Captain Deadbeard here on this point specifically will definitely be a challenge, I feel. There's not really too many places you can aim up where you're not also up to being vanquished, basically. Where is that Colonel Corn coming from? Uh, that was a shot from a kernel corn, but I don't see one. Oh, there's one. Oh, got him pretty good there. Got him again. One more time, there it is, level two achieved. We're trying to get the level 10 today, so I definitely need to pick up the pace. But I think that once we get into a defensive position, like I said, with Captain Deadbeard, things are going to go really even better. Oh no, oh no, he's mad, he's mad. Okay, you know what, let's go give him a big hug, maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, did that work? That was, that was bizarre. Won't deny, that was really bizarre. There's like not too much of an oomph with his explosion, or maybe my barrel was destroyed. I, I really don't know. But he did take some damage, so you think? I don't know. But since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on Captain Deadbeard here in Battle for Neighborville? I think he's great, but I would love to hear your opinions on him. Because like I don't mind zooming in and fighting a bit from here. The problem, is this, there's not always plants around the fight against. Okay, ooh, nightcap up this way, huh? Oh, almost got gotcha. you. Characters move very quickly in this game. You really gotta practice if you wanna be a good sniper. I mean, I think that's the case for most multiplayer games like this, but definitely I feel like that's the case for this game compared to Garden Warfare 2. I mean, there were just certain classes that were easy targets for a sniper in Garden Warfare 2. Um, not as much in this game. There's, the characters have a lot of focus on mobility. I mean, obviously there are specific exceptions, things like uh, like uh, the oak. Okay, can I get you? Can I get my revenge on you? Range on that's actually a little bit larger than I expected. Okay, did that get you? Yeah, like it actually reaches from there, so that's great. Um, let's keep trying to get her. She's running. 
Oh no, now she's trying to fight. Oh boy, oh boy, ah, darn. So she was able to sort of fight her way out of that one. I don't feel like I'm liking the short range as much as I should. It just doesn't sort of land any applicable damage. I mean, it's a whole lot better than nothing, of course, but you definitely can't get too many reliable vanquishes with it. Some of the variants in Garner Warfare 2 for Captain Deadbeard, their short range was so good. Like Captain Sharkbite, it was too good, you know? Okay, uh, that guy has no health. That was sort of weird. I thought I shot him there, but I guess I didn't. Um, oh boy, come on. Come on, one more shot on him. That's all we need. We got the shared vanquish, that's good. Let me get up here. This guy doesn't seem to notice me. I'm gonna get you. Sorry, Cactus, but you're going down. Oh, oh, don't you run. Don't you want run from me? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You're gonna be, ah, stop jumping. Stop jumping. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh, that's bothersome. Okay, come here. I'm gonna give you a big hug. I'm gonna get some anger out on somebody. Did that not work? Did you not take any damage? You know what, goodbye. I was gonna try to do my anchor launch and just get away. I'm so frustrated. I can't believe we didn't get that cactus. Ooh, it's tough. It's real tough, for sure, I don't think. Oh, somebody was reviving me. Never mind, my bad. Jeez Louise, that was crazy. All right, well, we'll just try to keep improving. How we're doing right now, we have five vanquishes, like I said, that's sort of subpar. I think we'll do better next round, especially if we can get into the defensive position. I think that's gonna pick things up a lot for us. Really gonna make a big difference. But for right now, we gotta capture the museum. Oh, we'll definitely get that speed boost. Oh boy, we're moving. And this is a decent point. I think we'll be able to snipe off some guys. Take out, take them out from a distance is always fun. Okay, I gotta focus on the oak first. If I focus on the acorn, I'm gonna mess, because he's just too small of a target. Colonel Corn's another one that's tough to, to land shots on, though, because of how thin he is. Oh, oh boy. Come on, come on, can we get him? Come on, get him. One more shot, that's it, awesome. See, that's where the short range can be useful. Level three achieved, that's nice. Okay, gotta work, work on the oak now. Did I call him a torch wood earlier? If I did, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, that was a good vanquish. Nice stuff. I'll revive this guy if I can. No, no, too late. I understand it happens. I'll try to help the engineer. Um. Oh no, maybe I can't. No, I can, I can, it's possible. Okay, who do we got? Everybody's firing at us right now. I don't even know what those red things were. Yo, what are those shots? Am I just forgetting? I don't know, I might be. I see Snapdragon coming in. I'm scared about that, and I missed him at point blank range because I'm not good. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, I got him a little bit though. Oh, there we go, that wasn't too bad. Because usually characters in Gun War for two, chompers were easy pickings for Captain Deadbeard. He has this big head, so you're able just to, you know, shoot him down real easy like that. Who is coming at me right now? Okay, uh, I hear the sunflower shots, I just don't see her. Let's get rid of this. Cause that can be a problem. I want to launch up here. There we go. Almost got it. And like, obviously, chompers still have big heads, but like I said before, characters have more mobility in this game. They can. Every character can run pretty quickly. All right, so let's try to vanquish this cactus before she causes too much problems. I know somebody's trying to get me right now, and I don't know where. Apparently from like, whoa, really? I guess there must have just been a nightcap chilling out somewhere. They got me from really far away though, which is crazy. Okay, so we'll respond now. We'll just try again. Oh no, okay, we actually got that point. Hack, broadcast, vans, check, so that's good. Um, So we just gotta keep up with everybody. That missed a the, okay, one of those definitely didn't mess. I'm gonna argue that. Where's this guy going? No, he's gone. Darn. That's where it gets tough to snipe in this game. Really tough. Where is he? I probably shouldn't be doing this. This could get me in so much trouble right now. Okay, I'm just tussling with this rose at the moment. There we go, we at least got that, that was nice. She sort of just got caught by surprise. And we're just moving over here now, come on. 
So we got a hack to broadcast fans, as per usual. This is gonna be tough as a Captain Dad Beard, I think. As far as I know. Okay, I see a Snapdragon over this way. They're up here. Oh, they're shooting like right down the, the hill at me. So this is actually really tough. I'll try my best, but. Ah, he is all over the place. I can't keep up with him. Luckily, it seems like people are healing me. Oh, got somebody, I got a sunflower a little bit. But they are just able to sit on the top of that and just lob everything down. If I could approach from the left side instead of the right, that would be, ah, what helps me the most. Because of the fact that, um, that like, you know, Captain Deadbeard holds his weapon on the right hand, so you could sort of peek around corners with that. So if I could just get over there, that I think would help me a lot more because I'm trying to, you know, shoot at them, but I'm also putting myself in a vulnerable position. I mean, as you can see, it's almost like the, the map maker's prepared for that. There's sort of more blocked off. Also, Captain, not Captain, Cactus, also has that little glare to her. I never noticed that. Okay, where is this cactus going? Come on, one more shot on yet. Somebody get her. Oh my gosh, just everybody can just run away. It's so tough. And the walnuts are in the way, like 85% of the time. Oh, come on, you are so low on health. It's ridiculous. It's really tough to work with, for sure. I almost got him. Move out of the way. <laughs> okay, you know, we need to use our parrot a little bit more. It's the problem is the parrots and the, the drones are just a little bit slower in this game. It definitely makes it a bit tougher to, to work with, but I'm gonna try to be sneaky. It's not working out so well right now. Yeah, is that even gonna reach there? Oh, it sorta of did, but it didn't really, okay, I got one person. I wanna focus on the sunflower. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, darn, 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 darn. That's okay, we'll do what we can. It looks like we're hacking one of the vans. That's at least good. Uh, this seems like an okay position. Uh, where's the Gatling P at? He's right there. Ugh. Got him, okay, that was good. So we have two out of the three broadcasting vans already. If our team can get the next one, that'd be great. It seems like they are definitely focused on vanquishing us up coming up the hill that they're not, actually only one of them. I guess they can unhack them is the thing. You know what? Come over here, I wanna give you a big hug. Big hug. You can move pretty quick with it too, which is nice. I, I know I'm in a lot of trouble here. Come on, jump, jump, jump! Ah, just can't do it fast enough, that stinks. I was trying to do the anchor and get myself out of there. Okay, so. Uh, let's go back into it. Yeah, now we have B, but we don't have A or C. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We need we don't need to get all three and then have it permanently. We just need to build it up to 100%, and we have two minutes to get the next 40%. We'll have to see how that goes then. Uh, let's, ow, right in the face, yikes. Okay, it's time for the barrel then. Come on, activate it quick, because I'm gonna run out of health like lightning. It just doesn't work out very well. Obviously, Captain of the Beard's not gonna work in this situation most of the time, because you're on an offensive, a very offensive for the zombie map. Not like as in like they're offended, but like they have to fight really hard to make their way up this hill. And that's not what Captain Deadbeard's really made for. He's supposed to be on the top of the hill keeping them down there, just like Cactus is doing to us now. And that's where it can get tough. I see that sunflower. You would think it'd be easy enough to just yeah, do that, but apparently I'm having a hard time with that. Come on. Oh, there it is. Sometimes you just gotta jump. So let's get over here as fast as we can. Our team's at 71%. We still have then 29 to go in one minute. I don't know if that's gonna end up working out. Ow, I got hit with the, with the walnut. I didn't even see it until it was too late. All right, oh my gosh, my aim is so bad. We're having a little bit of a sniping competition right now. Luckily, they, you know, the walnuts are just as much in the way for me as it is for them, most of the time, at least. Looks like a lot of them are getting bored of being on the roof, because they're just, Heading out, ooh, that was a good one. I wanna see more like that, that's for sure. That was great. I really wanna get way off here to the side. Looks like this Captain Edbeard has the same exact idea, so maybe I'm not that original. What do we got? He shoot over this way, I'm gonna miss horribly. Nice, and it looks like the other Captain Deadbeard helped me out there a little bit, that's good. Who's over here? Got a Rose coming in from this way. She got stunned. Take advantage of it as much as I can. Come on, we have like, well, we're fighting for all three broadcast vans right now. Ow, oh, oh, I didn't even see that nightcap until it was too late. Okay, come on, activate the thing. Go for this acorn. See ya, that was good. 
Um, but it looks like we did not win, unfortunately. We got very close, but not quite a win. Alrighty, well, we'll have to try next round. Like I said, if we could get a defensive situation for Captain Deadbeard, I think we will do fantastic. But even considering we got from level one to level five in that round, we did okay. It wasn't bad, for sure. Now everybody's gonna watch Acorn TV. <laughs> oh gosh, a cactus has a scorpion on her back. That's creepy. Alrighty, well, there's our first round as Captain Deadbeard. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so this might be a lot better for us. I know that Captain Deadbeards can wreak havoc on a map like this from what I remember. So let's hope that is exactly the case as the round is starting, the plants are coming out here. Definitely this little area can be nice because you can just sort of stand right here and pick them off as they're trying to rush in. Sort of the same thing here, but you're sort of making yourself vulnerable as they come in this way. So you just have to sort of pay attention to who's around. A few shooters coming in. I got the shot on the cat, not the cactus, the corn. Mm, gotcha. And then one more shot. All I needed was one more shot there and I couldn't get it. Darn, it's another cactus, like I was saying. Because I was shooting over there, I was making myself vulnerable to this angle. Oh my gosh, there's too many explosions. Can't quite see what's going on there. Got the sunflower. I think I got the vase weed there. Ooh, got him out of the air, that was satisfying. Okay, there's a lot of people doing the same exact thing is the only issue. Obviously, I'm not being that original. But more than that, it makes it harder to see because everybody's clashing into each other. But this is sort of what you just gotta do with the Captain Deadbeard. Sort of the goal. I don't know, come on, come on. See like Captain Deadbeard over there, his head is getting in my way. So I'm going to try to, I thought that's another Captain Deadbeard. Captain Deadbeard's very popular today. I usually don't see this many. So it's interesting that so many are getting into my way. Okay, there's a, a corn right here and I missed him. Yeah, and, the, and it's just like wherever I go, I'm trying to find these good sniping spots. But unfortunately, it looks like my space is getting taken up by other Captain Deadbeards. Oh, this cactus. Okay, who's behind me? Nobody? Uh, all right. But I'm definitely missing out on potential vanquishes. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you, and I saw that drone. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. I'm coming to get you. You can't get away now, right? If I go around her real quick, that's for sure. There we go. Where are you at? Come on, I got it, I got it. Okay, so that actually reaches long enough to get that. That's actually really interesting. And good to know, oh no, I'm running. You can go ahead and deal with that if you want. I got lots of other stuff to worry about. Ah, there we go. Ah, I hit the wall. Not really what I wanted at all. Jeez, come on, it's not that tough. I'm making it seem like it's tough. It's not that tough, I'm just not doing so well. I know that pea shooter, yeah, is still behind there. Can I just peck at him? Ah, oh, I can't. That stinks. I'm trying so hard there. Got it? What? Baloney. It's just like, it's. I'm trying. The reticle's sort of lying to me there. All right then, level six achieved with that vanquish, so that's always nice. You know what, I'm gonna play a little bit more aggressive then. I'm gonna get onto this point. Probably immediately get vanquished. I hit the wall every single time. It's tough, it's real tough. There's a Torchwood over here giving me a hard time too. Where is this face weed? Because he's beating up on me, he's beating up on some other zombie friends. I might need to skedaddle here. This is getting nasty real quick. Okay, where are you at? I'm gonna go in on this, on these two guys. I got one of them. I don't know what happened to the nightcap. No, I got the nightcap. All right, that's cool. Oh boy, I'm a bit worried. Oh, if you could heal me, that'd be perfect. Okay, I'm all healed up. I probably should not be out this far. I'm pushing beyond my bounds. But I see the opportunity, I gotta take it. We can get at least one good vanquish here. Did it, oh yeah, but it didn't work. Because of course, most of them are just going to attack the barrel. If you can sort of wiggle in there, I definitely feel like it's harder to survive with the barrel than it was in God of War 2. You could get some easy, clean vanquishes with bunched up plants like that in that game a little bit more than you can here, I think. At first I thought that, you know, it wasn't that way. It was just too tough to destroy, but so far, now that I'm playing Captain Deadbeard, I noticed that it gets destroyed very easily. So it's just sort of something to keep in mind. Okay, um, got it, not bad. I know Pea Shooter's moving in this way, and more than that, we got a cactus. Gotta work on the cacti so that they don't get me. So far, so good, earning up a three vanquish streak. I don't know if we'll end up seeing that crazy 20 vanquish streak that we saw with Cactus. To be honest with you, so far I am sort of liking Cactus more. I've always liked Cactus a little bit more, 
But I think in this game, I just play better with her and I like her moveset a little bit more. I mean, in that game, it's really, I mean, not th that game, for that class, it, it's, it's weird because I, I'd figure I'd like this one because it's more upfront. Oh, oh, you're almost down. There it is, level seven. It's more upfront, uh, Captain Deadbeard's barrel, but I just sort of like the potato mines. Being able to strategize with those can be nice. Okay. I gotta use this a bit more. <laughs> Currently, I'm not really. Yeah, that didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. It still got some damage though. That's always good. Got some damage off. Sunflower is super low on health. Wasn't able to get her though. Got a pea shooter over here that I terribly, terribly missed all those shots. Can't believe it, really. Okay, got the sunflower. One more shot, there it is. Ow, somebody got me from behind. It was an eye cap. That, that happens, you know, I'm playing in a bit of a risky position, but that's just so that I don't have to deal with the congestion of other Captain Deadbeards around, uh, which I don't think happens too often. There just happens to be a couple of Ked Captain Deadbeard players on this team, and it's working. I mean, 25 seconds left, they haven't even really touched a point, so sometimes a lot of Captain Deadbeards can make a big difference. Both of these guys got vanquished, so maybe they might make a good push to this last point right here. I mean, they're on it right now, so let's get on there too. Show them that's not cool. We want to win this. Come on, come on. Uh, almost. Come on. Get out of here. I might have to skedaddle then. Throw that up there. Come on. I can never really get exactly where I'm going with that most of the time. Oh, they are all just rushing on the point. This is our chance for some major vanquishes. Sort of, kind of. I can at least get a couple of assists. I probably should have tried the barrel sooner. Ah, no, no! Ah, he got me. Yeah, I was sort of out of my element there. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Um, see what's going on. Are they in overtime? They're in overtime right now. So if I can just sort of avoid getting into that rush until I have the barrel available and really sneak in there, sneak up on them a little bit. Oh, overtime's about to tick out. Will it? Ah, uh, not quite yet. Oh, most of our teammates are vanquished right now though. That's a bad situation. I cannot see because the scientist is standing in my way. Okay, you know what, I have no choice because everybody needs to stand in my way in that position, but it's sort of the best place for me to be. I just need to go ahead and give everybody a big barrel hug. Ooh, a couple of vanquishes is gonna give me level eight. Okay, everybody else take it. Ah, I've done what I can from that position. Oh my gosh. But we vanquished that person somehow. That was crazy. Who is gonna get this? We are fighting tooth and nail. How are we doing with Vanquish's 18? We could actually get like top Vanquisher or at least compete with it. Honestly, the only other place I haven't sniped from too much is from this right hook. Sort of this is the pathway they push the uh, payload. But to be honest with you, I don't feel like it's as strong. But with how they're pushing into the point, it might actually make a good difference. At least for the on point skirmishes, it could definitely change some things up. Problem, everybody is moving so fast and rushing in. It's not always the easiest to keep up with. What about this guy? Come on. Okay, I can't believe that didn't get him. It did 23 damage, he was so low on health, but it still didn't get the vanquish. Come on, overtime. When anybody tries to get on that point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what? Okay, well somebody got on there somewhere, I don't know where. Okay, this seems like another good chance for the barrel. They've gotten one checkpoint. Okay, I just gotta sneak behind him when he does that. Was it enough though? It wasn't. Come on, get him. Oh, I just can't. The barrel just doesn't do that very well. The skirmishes, it doesn't work out. It definitely isn't like it is in God of Warfare 2. I don't know, I feel like the rest of this might be up to my team. They're getting a little too forward with it. And that's sort of the thing you wanna do with these sniper classes is close that distance. Once you do that, it's much, much harder to survive. The best thing you can do, I guess, is to get the parrot out, do some high damage things with that. But even that can be not so easy sometimes. Okay, so who can I attack from here? It's just the Citron on the point. They're really going to overtime this and actually get the point from it. Like, that's crazy. Come on, beat this guy up. The nightcap, thank you. Stop them from getting on that point, though, as much as I possibly can, but they're just rushing back on. Like, they know what to do. They're doing a great job. That's just tough for us. Oh, gosh, Bee Shooter's trying to get me. Come on, come on. Not too bad. Over this way. Can I get more of these guys? I rained down some damage, that definitely helped, but they're just doing everything they can to extend that overtime. Get more of the point. Make that difference. And I'd rather than not. <laughs> oh gosh, come on, reload, reload. Acorn is tough to hit. Chomper, not so much. He's much easier to hit. 
but they're gonna get this right now. <laughs> if we don't do something right now, getting healed by two sunflowers, count them two. Ow, jeez. Just sort of barely kept them holding on for long enough. It looks like they got this point, then no. Come on, that was baloney. Oh well. Okay, so they're pushing this payload. I have to take a minute break and they made so much progress in that time. So that's not good. This is another really nice sniping spot though. I feel like this one has more viability. Just because the plants are constantly moving, they can't constantly counteract us in a way. Uh, the other one was a little bit more stationary. So I feel like it was more in their favor. I mean, I say that maybe I'm totally wrong. I'll have to sort of see how we can handle this. I already got one Vanquish on the nightcap though. Who is hitting me right now? Oh, the pea shooter, that's not good. Almost taken out there. Get the nightcap, or not. I have the worst aim in history. No, I heard ya, I couldn't do anything about it. That stinks. That is one thing, is that there are gonna be plants that just move past all the things and just go right for you. Okay, so. Uh, we're contesting the point here. This chomper is still wreaking havoc on us. I don't even know if this is even fair right now. Just can't keep up with the dude. And he is just going vanquish after vanquish. It would help if my aim wasn't so bad because it definitely isn't good by just somehow, by some miracle was able to get him there. I can't believe that, that was crazy. Almost got the nightcap, come on. Okay, who's around me? I hear something, I don't know. Oh boy, come on, I know we can do this. I know we can defend this point and get a win. Ah, oh, who is it now? Another chomper, help me out, fellow Captain Deadbeard. That didn't do any damage to him? That's sort of disappointing. That did though, level nine achieved. Hopefully we do get level 10 in, in this round, that'd be great. Uh, I'm gonna get that set up. And this might be a nice spot for at least a couple of seconds before they sort of clue in on it. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm going to miss every shot, there we go. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. Barrel time, barrel time. Go in for it, they're running, unfortunately. Yeah, that didn't do very much. I was hoping for something better than that. It's all I got, though. This is probably not where I should be. Okay, that acorn's taken out. Okay. Oh, I didn't get him. Did not get him. It's crazy that that does damage. I was expecting that one that time, so I'm not gonna complain about that one. But geez, it's it's crazy, it's really crazy. Okay. They are so close to pushing in that payload, but it is going backwards right now. This is definitely the toughest spot for the payload. It is where a lot of plants end up losing the round, typically. We'll see if that's the case this time. Work on that chomper a little bit, get him out of here. Oh no, it's this lone, Lone Vase Weed, okay, now it's the Citron as well. But the other, the Vase Weed was like the only thing pushing it for a second. Will that do damage to you still? It won't. You can't hug him as much as you used to be able to. It would make it past the shield. Come on. This is definitely a dangerous position to be in. I only got the assist for that, no matter how hard I worked. I'm glad I was able to get out of the situation, but, you know, it's not gonna get us to win. Oh no, is he going for me? He's probably going for me. Oh no, no he isn't. All right, well we get a good try bonus with those coins. I want to vanquish some of these guys. Thank you very much, a triple! Wow, that was crazy. I get taken out by the chili bean bomb, but that was what you want to see with the barrel because they were gonna get rid of me. We knew it, the chopper was gonna catch up, the snapdragon was gonna slam on me, something was gonna happen, but I was able to go in there with the barrel. Get a couple more vanquishes. We're up to 28 right now, which honestly with my meh playing right now, I think that's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's just luck or whatever, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. So we will, whoa, I can get on top of that tree? Can I get on top of this one? Um, I don't no, not really. Okay, that's disappointing. Get rid of that guy. These chompers are aggressive, and that is tough to deal with. Speaking of aggressive, we also have the Snapdragon. Why'd I walk into that thinking it would somehow help me? <laughs> that's not for my team, it's for theirs. Oh, he's, he's running. I know he's over here, he's just coming back for more. All right, well not too much I can do about it at the moment. Just try to keep surviving, get that win somehow. Oh gosh, come on. Oh boy. So this is tough, this is tough. 
It's, it's a lot of moving around. I just, I don't know why, but I feel like it definitely isn't as easy for me as the cactus was. And maybe I just got lucky with the cactus, but I don't think so. I think, I think that I, I am slightly better at the cactus than I am Captain Nedbeard. But they're both really fun. It's not like it's not a good class or anything. It's fantastic. And do I feel like it's an upgrade from Garden Warfare 2? I mean, I feel like the context for sniping is different in Garden Warfare 2. That's where it can get weird for both cactus. Ah, darn it, come on. And um, for Cactus and Captain Deadbeards, sniping is different in this game. Characters move differently, and that really impacts sniping. So instead, they've given you toolkits, you know, with like the anchor ability, with you know things like that, that really help you focus a little bit more on your sniping. If you charge it up, you get a stronger hit. That kind of stuff. That has really changed everything about it. And I think a better way than before. Okay, wow, that hurts. I'm gonna get over to you. No, never mind, I don't need to. <laughs> I was gonna keep chilling out over this way. This Captain Deadbeard seems not to notice me. It's really a matter if I notice him or he notices me if I can't land any shots on him. I got something though, so that was at least good. Okay, let's get rid of this guy's shield. But also, you know, before you wanted to sort of, oh, level 10, nice. Before, in Garden Warfare 2, you wanted to line up your shot and then boom, 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 knock them down as fast as possible with most Captain Deadbeards, especially the basic Captain Deadbeard. In this game, you don't wanna do that as much. You want to be able to zoom in, let your shot build up, and get that one big definitive shot instead of the boom, boom, boom that it used to be. So once again, sniping is different, so it's hard to say, you know, is it a direct upgrade or is it just sort of different? I feel like it's a little bit of both. I, I do think it's better. I think that sniping is a bit more um, intuitive and skill-based and a learned thing you have to sort of invest in. And I think overall that's gonna be for the better. Come on, come on, come on, come on, can I get him? That got him, nice. Nobody's taking out my teammates if I have anything to say about it. Oh boy. Um, ah, yikes. Come on, what do we got over here? A couple people actually. Come on, that Colonel Corn's at like one health. I was sort of in a bad position there. I should have, oh, okay, there's a couple of people who can maybe work on sniping from over there. But, yeah, this is tough. If they're contesting it though, like we're at this very last stretch. Can we stop them? I'm not sure. Oh no, here comes a chomper, right? There's always a chomper. Massing with somebody, is it a zebra chomper too? It's partially a zebra chomper. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, couldn't quite get away from me this time, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, hello. Uh, I honestly don't know if I can survive that battle if I do that, so I'm not going to. It looks like they took it. That's unfortunate. I could just spend a couple more seconds. Ah, no, I can't. The wall's gone. The wall of which I was standing on does not exist anymore. <laughs> so I fell. That's tough, that's tough. It's okay, though. So they're gonna get the batteries here. I feel like we could do okay defending on this point, but I don't know if it's gonna turn out all that well. How are we doing vanquishes wise now? We're at 34, so we're getting up there. If we could get a 40, maybe 50 vanquishes game, I don't think it's gonna be 50, but if we get up to 40, I'd be really impressed with that. That's always pretty good for a full game of turf takeover. There we go. Got the trash can bot, of course. Oh no, here he comes, here he comes. All right, come on over. What you gonna do? You're just gonna do that, of course. Wait, what? Oh, you can chomp through a barrel now. I didn't realize that. You used to not be able to do that. That would just break the barrel. It doesn't work that way anymore. That's concerning. I don't like that as much. All right, well, it does enable the chomper to sort of be even more aggressive than he typically is against something like Captain Deadbeard. Interesting, that is something I gotta keep in mind. Whoa. Because it definitely didn't use to work that way. Um, oh, Citron over this way, he didn't have a shield up. There we go. And another Citron behind him, and I think another Citron behind that Citron. Lots of Citrons, or maybe not, maybe not. Sort of looked that way for a second. Okay, come on, get over there and get him. Okay, somebody got him. Oh boy. Just trying to be as careful as I can. Oh, he's got a super laser. Definitely take him down as he's in a vulnerable position as well to do that. Oh gosh, there goes that chomper. He's not very kind, so if we could take him down, that's great. I see this nightcap. <laughs> it's hard to get that nightcap. 
Uh, I don't want to go into this wall over there, oh, over here, because I feel like it's very risky. Sunflower has the battery. Got to put a stop to her. I got one shot on her. Don't know if that was enough or whatever, but, but yeah, this wall right here can be a bit of a risk to get up onto because they are all heading over. Oh boy. Come on, almost got him. Almost, he's keeps peeking his head over. Oh, I got him! Nice, he was playing it risky. Sunflowers is probably gonna revive him. I can't tell there's a bush in the way. Okay, dude, okay. You think I've ran, but instead, I'm gonna plop right on top of somebody. That got nobody. Wait, no, did it get you? Apparently it was an assist, which is better than nothing, I suppose. How many batteries have they cashed in? None. No batteries yet. Let's keep it up. Nice, that was good vanquish. Over this way. Come on, come on. Ow, oh, that hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. Come on, we can do this though, I know we can. We're capable of defending this one. We've been so close to successfully defending the entire game. So one of these times it has to work out, right? They haven't gotten a single battery. If it keeps up at this rate, we'll definitely win. Yeah, I'm glad that we were able to master Captain Deadbeard in today's episode, not master, but promote him. You know what I mean. Uh, lots of fun for sure. Oh boy. I see the Snapdragon calls and then I'm trying to deal with them whatever way I can. Oh, who is behind me? Can you stop it? Now I'm a goat. That was just bad timing overall. I tried to get into my barrel. Didn't work. At least he got knocked out shortly after. <laughs> Those zebra chompers trying to show off. I wish I had the zebra chomper. Hopefully at some point I do get it. A lot of you have been letting me know about it. I already know about it now, but it's cool how many people are excited about it. I'll definitely showcase it as soon as I get it. Hopefully that's soon. Plan on doing a big spending spree for like the 50th episode, I think. That's my current plan. Um, I know that sounds far away, but it'll come up quick. Oh boy. Nice. Oh, got him a little bit and got him a little bit more, just an assist. I feel like they're not pushing in as much as they were before. Seems like they're struggling. Here comes a nightcap. Oh, tried to catch it, but didn't really work. There's always more plants trying to push in. How big is our team? Like, it doesn't feel like a full team. I'm not seeing too many of them. I guess we have a lot of Captain Deadbirds and stuff really fighting up here, though. And that might be making the difference. Okay, you don't see me. I need to make the most of that opportunity. Got him, and then turn around and focus on this sunflower. No, you don't. No, you don't. Go around you. Go around you. That, 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 okay. I'm the worst. I got it. <laughs> you were just spinning around like crazy. Come on. Come on. Ugh. One more shot. One more shot is all I need. Can I get it? Or is the nightcap gonna ruin my day? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, I know I didn't play that well, but I was still so close to making it work. That stinks. I need to use the parrot a little bit more. Definitely an opportunity to use that. I just haven't been very much. I don't feel like it's as crucial as it used to be, especially since it moves so slow now. I really don't like the speed of it, but what are you gonna do, you know? Um. Okay, let's get over this way. And let's try to get these guys. I'm a little focused in on the moment. So I'm, I'm gonna try to wait around for 10 seconds to see if I can't get that supercharged move again because we got rid of the Citron with that. It's a really good one when I can get it landed well, but I don't feel like I've been doing that too much recently. Okay, so what plants are around? Another Citron, let's just go for him. The angling of it is odd. There's a Vanquish though, Vanquish streak times two. Oh, here we go. This guy is gone. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I gotta get this guy. They're actually starting to cash in the batteries. Like, that's a really big danger. Okay, these guys are moving really fast. Let me try to preemptively shoot it. That didn't work out. Ah, the Rose is being a really good supportive class. I can't wait to try her out. She's coming up in a couple of episodes. Okay, dude. Okay, watch it. Come on, one more shot, one more shot. Somebody got it, that's good. He's gotta put a stop to him. The Rose has the same issue with the Colonel Corn. Very thin, very hard to keep up with because of that. Oh, I spawned in over here. I thought I was on the other side. Get that shield. Busted. Come on. There's the shield busted, but they're still pushing. Did they get it? I think they might have. Uh, let's find out. Yes, they did, I think. 
They just cashed in the last battery. Good for them. So close to losing every single time and they were able to still push for the victory. That's definitely good on them. Good teamwork. And down goes the lighthouse. <laughs> So there was our look at the Captain Deadbeard. We're gonna run over here and promote him now if we can. Whoop, that is awesome. Very fun character for sure. We got two upgrades here, the long barrel, handling upgrade, reduced spread of scurvy scattershot. That sounds actually really good. And the eye spy handling improvement. It has improved view on spyglass shot lens when zoomed. Both of those sound like a really good first upgrade. So we would definitely keep those in mind for future attempts with the Captain Deadbeard. So long barrel and the, what was it called? Um, I spy, gotcha. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, with that done, we'll also take a look at his, um, what are they? Uh, taunts right over this way. So we have happy jumpy. Oh, that's just like in Garden Warfare 2. He does halves and he, he happily jumps. Uh, Yardy har har. <laughs> I like that one. And then lastly, we have the tears ahoy where he cries, oh, so sad. So definitely let me know your thoughts on Captain Deadbeard. And yeah, with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans for Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Captain Zebra, so you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.